Hi, I'm Harun Kilshan and I'm from Sri Lanka. Uh, I'm 25 years old and uh, I have some background in cyber security with degree from University of Slit. And uh, I am currently a senior cyber security engineer at Davakaxia PLC uh, where I handle my hands on cyber security uh, experience. Uh, most of the times I do uh, penetration testing on uh, mobile application, web application, and internal and external network uh, penetration testing. I took CEH also known as Certified Ethical Hacker course uh, uh, with practical exam and it was my first professional uh, certification course in my journey and really it was awesome experience uh, and, and I am happy to say that I got 8th uh, place in uh, CEH Master Top 10 in the world quarter 4 number uh, 2020 uh, then again I took C, uh, C parent exam after the finish after finish my C parent exam and submit the report I got LPT as well after completing my CEH exam, uh, my lead engineer Haran Mamakaran was suggest me to uh, take CEH parent exam because uh, he already has LPT. Uh, then I look into it and uh, most of the people uh, said it was very challenging and hard exam and I heard uh, many people uh, fail the exam so I decided to accept the challenge. Uh, in CPRN course, there were some subjects which I were not familiar with such as uh, SCAR network, uh, traffic analysis and double pivoting and uh, binary exploitation on BIT64 Linux machine uh, with SLR uh, working in full randomization mode and uh, so I completed all the iLabs and went through all the PDF course materials and uh, also some also did some researches on some particular topics such as uh, double pivoting and uh, binary exploitation. After scheduling my exam, I had only 20 days for prepare for the exam. So then I decided to uh, spend a lot of time on uh, practice range labs uh, and write some automation uh, script to uh, do emulation and stuff. And uh, and then uh, practice range lab is real world uh, network network infrastructure which include. Uh, IDS, IBS and flywalls in place so uh, it means you can't even run a simple NMAP script or in emulation, network emulation to identify live host or open ports. Uh, also uh, I had let, less experience on IoT and OT system presentation testing before so it was a bit hard, hard for me. First thing I really like was actually this is a real world multi layer network infrastructure that means we can get an idea about how the things happen on real world and get familiar with some uh, different kind of system like uh, a SCAR network system and also uh, CPAT course include wide, uh, include wide range of different topics such as uh, uh, active directory penetration testing, IoT, OT uh, penetration testing and uh, firewall elevation, double pivoting, and also uh, the last thing is uh, during the CBNET exam, we have to compromise around uh, 20 hots uh, with different kind of exploit and methods, and, and that that was an awesome experience. I was completed all the labs, and that was very helpful for to uh, familiar with some tools and IoT OD system, and also in the labs you uh, you can try out different kind of exploit uh, script. Uh, and also the practice range labs are awesome because uh, it's similar to the real world network infrastructure and it's all connected to the IoT OT devices and uh, you have complete better field to tackle with. During my whole CBNet exam, I use Wireshark tool to capture the network traffic and map the network and Wireshark help us to uh, look into the packet level and response errors so then we can identify what type of devices connected to the network and uh, how the firewall handle the request uh, and I use web suite as a web application proxy so likewise I can dig into the uh, web application network uh, network traffic as well and I use uh, netcat tool to uh, get in reverse shell and netcat is my favorite tool CBNet teach more than usual penetration testing I mean uh, how to write professional pen test report and uh, once you have done your pen test uh, you have to tell what are those findings and how it could be impact to your organization and uh, also nowadays we are dealing with uh, network uh, with I firewall IDS IBS in place so uh, CBNet guide you how to uh, map, map the attack surface and uh, bypass those filters and also CBNet has two certification, certification and uh, if you can go deeper you will earn uh, LPT as well. I have only done a certified ethical hacker course before this so compared to the CEH uh, course uh, CBNet is next level advanced certificate. Before taking the exam, you should really practice the practice range labs and again check and complete all the labs and uh, take notes while you are doing research and labs and 
uh, also try to uh, write your own tools for emulation and stuff and again be familiar with uh, tools because there's no any limitation here so you can use uh, any tool you want